Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea deep into earnings season. It was amazing. And just to give you a little vignette into this, uh, we start at 700. There's a lot of preparation. Uh, you know, I'm in at 652. Paul's in at 655. But our team's in a lot earlier. And we know what's happening in earnings. But when Eli Lilly comes out, there's literally on the Bloomberg 40 headlines. I'm not exaggerating. So it's sorting out which headlines matter across each company. The banks are pretty much cookie cutter. But <laughs> the other com- companies are very much each idiosyncratic, each unique and different. And I, I really can't say enough uh, about the team effort to say, okay, what matters? What's important? You had the history today of 3M cutting their dividend. You had Eli Lilly and the whole, uh, you know, Ozempic kind of thing uh, going on. But they're each different, including the McDonald's with a little bit of a s- shortfall. We'll continue to do that. We're going to have Anna Ranhan in a moment on Amazon, which is uh, uh, very important, obviously, to the Magnificent Seven. But first, the distraction of Japan. One of the great things about people that become executive-like is they started somewhere with excellence. Rebecca Patterson, known from Bridgewater, known from Bessemer Trust, well, how did she get there? She's a Gator out of University of Florida, absolutely prodigious. But how did she get there? She got there doing foreign exchange for a small bank in New York called J.P. Morgan. No one better to talk to on yen intervention. Here's Rebecca Patterson. The weak yen is a reflection of the broadly strong dollar. The dollar is up against almost every currency around the world year to date. So it, it, you do need to think about what does the strong dollar mean? The strong dollar tends to be a pretty big headwind for emerging market equities. So that's an area that already you know, has idiosyncratic risk around China, but now you have this broad macro risk as well. The strong dollar is the Fed's best friend. You know, if the Fed is trying to get inflation back down to 2%, a strong dollar slows down U.S. growth by making our exports more expensive, less competitive overseas. That tends to weigh on manufacturing, slowing growth, disinflationary. That helps the Fed. So, again, back to intervention. The Fed doesn't want to help Japan here. The Fed wants a strong <laughs> dollar. So it's good for getting inflation down. It's bad for our exporters. And it's bad for anyone looking at emerging markets right now for diversification. Rebecca Patterson there on Yen. We're following this closely again across the Pacific uh, Rim. Tanya Chen leading our coverage out of Hong Kong uh, there into our evening and their morning and much to come on this. Today alone, Yen backed up weaker Yen and particularly weaker Euro Yen, not through the intervention uh, weakness, the shock there that we saw. But I, I'm telling you, this is going the wrong way for Japan right now. And, and really pay attention to that, particularly uh, in the East Coast, uh, into our evenings uh, as well. Amazon will be out. Maybe by the time you hear this, you'll know the Amazon uh, earnings. I know Tim and Carol have that on Bloomberg Radio and on Android, on Apple, on YouTube uh, in the afternoon. And they'll have a deep coverage of it. But Anurag Ron at Bloomberg Intelligence is just excellent on this. And what's great about him He goes further with a juggernaut. He looks not only at the cloud and the ad business, but actually also looking at the cardboard box uh, business. Uh, Here's Anurag Rana on Amazon. Both Google and Microsoft reported really strong cloud numbers. But from Amazon's point of view, there are a couple of things. A, it is much bigger than the other two companies in terms of size. So the relative growth rates, you know, are, are matter. Second thing, they don't have a relationship like Microsoft has with OpenAI, which means they are not a direct beneficiary of people using more consumer apps on their phones. So for them, it's the enterprise use of AI, which actually takes a little bit longer than uh, the consumer side of things. Anurag Rana there on Amazon. Of course, he and Mandeep Singh have been such great help. Uh, uh, to us. Single best idea, and it's just two of the voices uh, today. I really want to underscore, we didn't place him here into our two ideas, but Daniel Paris, P-E-R-I-S, Daniel Paris, the book is The Ownership Dividend. I divide books into different uh, ways. One are easy reads, one are, you know, accessible light reads, 
And then there's books that are, I mean, I mean, from Routledge, the Daniel Paris book is something like 160 pages. It reads like it's 400 pages because it's really academic, really dense, lots of footnotes, and lots of fancy scattered out charts. This is a pro book on dividends and total return, the ownership dividend, the coming paradigm shift in the U.S. stock market, and Daniel Paris on today really emphasizing the dividend change at Microsoft and at Google. Maybe we'll see that from uh, Amazon with a new dividend. They're dividend-free. Or maybe some dividend announcements and buyback announcements from Apple uh, as well. Single best idea. We're out on Apple CarPlay, on Android Play as well. Good morning to all of you. It's free out there. This is just a new technology to get into your car, particularly newer cars. It's really amenable, wire-free and all that. Uh, on Apple CarPlay, and also on YouTube. I want to make a note, program note. We now have available the entire show, two hours, 56 minutes. You'll see this 3-ish p.m. of the day of the show. We have a huge request for this. We're thrilled to bring you now the entire show uh, replayed. And then there's a six-minute podcast out on Apple Podcasts under Business News. Thank you for subscribing to Single Best Ideas.